Hello viewers, do you know how to solve the mathematics basic order of operations? So come with me and watch out this video up to the end. If you know how to work it out, kindly share with us your answers on the comment section as we shall confirm the answers that you have done. So come with me to the solution. So on this, let's work out the solution where now we want to work it out within the shortest time possible. We have 10 minus 6 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 minus 4. So I will explore with you some of the maths, uh, maths problems that people usually do. Some of the mistakes that people usually do when working out these operations. So the first thing that they usually work out is the mistake of trying to work out the multiplication first instead of the division. There's this thing that I want to share with you. So we have what is called the, the bond mass. So what does the bond mass stands for? The bond mass stands for the B, that stands for the bracket. So in this maths problem, there is no bracket. So there is no way of you trying to find out where it is. So O stands for of, there is no of. So D stands for the division. So you are supposed to work out the division first, but not the other way around, whereby you work out the multiplication. So when you work out the division, how will we have it? So here now we shall have 10 minus. So when you work out 6 divided by 2, now we shall have 3. Then multiply by 4, subtract from, from 4. So that is the first step that you need to work out. Otherwise, if you work out 2 multiplied by 4, it will give you 8. And then now from there, you now take it, you divide by, by 6, you end up with the wrong answer. Now from there, now we move to M. M stands for the multiplication. So we have to work out this sign here. So here now we shall have 10 minus 3 mul multiplied by 4 is 12 minus minus 4 so now we shall have 10 minus 12 minus 4 then we move to the next step that is a a stands for the addition so in this math problem we don't have the addition all of them that we have is the subtraction sign so we have to check how are you going to work out the subtraction sign so here now we are going to work it out this way so here now we shall have 10 so we shall have 10 so 10 here then minus 12 first. Then from there, you put the bracket. Then you minus, minus 4. So that you avoid the issue of confusion. So after that, now you shall have to work out 10 minus 12. And 10 minus 12 is not 2. It is minus, minus 2. So you shall have minus 2. Then minus, minus 4. So how are we going to work out this minus 2? minus 4. So this math problem, this one is what you can do for it. We shall decide to work out what is called a number line. So we shall draw a number line like this. So we name this side to be 0. Then here now we, we remain, we name 1, 2, 3, 4. Then here also we move up to 4, 1, 2, 3. Then finally now we shall have 4. This side is moving towards the it was the the it was the same are or usually the the negatives then these ones are the positives so we have to check where minus 2 is so minus 2 is somewhere here so we shall have to start here with counting so we shall start here counting so we have minus 2 then minus 4 so we are we are moving towards the four steps towards the towards the negative. So allow me to extend this other part. So here now we have minus five, we have minus minus six. So we shall move four steps from this starting point that is two towards the towards the negative sign. So here now let's start. So here we shall have one, two, three, then four. So finally. We shall stop here and say now we have we have stop. So after that now we shall check where have we stopped? We have stopped at minus six. So meaning that minus two minus four, the answer is equals to minus minus six. So if you get minus six, then that is the correct answer, and you actually know how you can work out the correct operations by following the correct channel. So I've now highlighted the mistakes that people usually do when they are performing the simple basic 
మాత్సో పరిశోధన